Hello friends, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Today we're going to be talking about symmetry in art. Symmetry in art. Symmetrical art is another way of saying it. Symmetry in art is when you have something over here in your art and something over here to balance it out. Or maybe it's something up top and then something in the bottom to balance it out. Symmetrical art is very balanced. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, but as long as like, let's say you have an elephant over here and a house over here, they're roughly, you know, they're both big objects. So that would be, that would have a balanced symmetrical feel to it. So let's look at a piece of art from art history that has a very symmetrical feel to it. And then I'm going to show you how we are going to make our own symmetrical art using shapes. All right, so here we have a painting that was done in 1481 by Pietro Perugino. And that means this painting is about 550 years old. Pretty close to 550 years old. Anyway, it's very beautiful and it's a great example of symmetry in art. So let me explain why. So it's not perfect symmetry, but it's close. We have a building on the left, we have a building on the right. Those are very similar. The building in the middle is perfectly symmetrical. You've got this awning on the left, awning on the right. Uh, if you split this building right down the middle, this side would perfectly mirror this side. Very symmetrical. We've got some mountains and trees on the left, mountain trees on the right, clouds on the left, clouds on the right, group of people on the left, group of people on the right. The whole thing is very symmetrical, and um, this is an extremely balanced uh, piece of art, and uh, it's just... It, it makes it very pleasing to look at because it's so balanced and uh, everything is perfectly weighted. So um, anyway, so that's an example of what a classic painting looks like that is very symmetrical. So now let's talk about how we are going to make our symmetrical art. All right, so we are not going to try to do uh, nearly as complicated an artwork as Mr. Perugino's painting that we just looked at. Um, but we are going to make something that's very symmetrical and fun and colorful. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pencil to get started. And we're going to fold our paper over. Make sure that the corners match up. Hold it in place and fold. And we're going to open it back up. And let's put a line down the middle just so we can tell where the fold is. All right. So now I want you to draw four or five shapes on the left side of your paper. Left side of your paper. So, um, and you can go off the page. You can um, be as creative as you want to with this. I'm going to keep it simple just for this video. But um, anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to do a circle that goes off the page. A medium-sized triangle. A diagonal rectangle and a diagonal oval. I got room for one more. What should I do down here? How about a diamond shape? Alright, so one, two, three, four, five shapes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it backwards like this. So imagine if this is a book, you wouldn't want to do this to a book because we folded it this way, right? So if you're holding a book like this, so instead of closing it, we're going to fold it backwards. So you've got your shapes on one side and a blank piece of paper on the other side. And now I'm going to show you how you can trace this using your window and sunlight. All right, so like I said, we're going to fold it like this. We're going to go to a window that's sunny you're gonna take your drawings, your shapes, and put them on the window, and then smash it flat. And I don't know if you can tell, but I can see through my paper to trace it. It's gonna draw the same shapes again, but on the other side of the paper. Look at that, symmetrical. So now we have our symmetrical shapes and they're ready to color. So now we're gonna have fun with color. I want you to pick two colors that look great together and you're gonna alternate them. So let's just say orange and blue for instance. If you have orange shapes and a blue background, 
Then on this side, you're going to flip that. You're going to have uh, blue shapes and orange background. And in fact, I want you to pick complementary colors. So let's look at complementary colors real quick on a color wheel. Alright, so this color wheel shows complementary colors. So you could pick purple and yellow. You could pick red and green, blue and orange, uh, kind of a yellow, yellow uh, orange, and kind of a violet blue. Um, so uh, complementary colors are just known to uh, make each other look more vibrant and look very beautiful. So um, pick two complementary colors to use for your artwork and let's fill that in. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, paint, whatever it is you have that you feel like using today. And here we have it, my finished symmetrical shape art. I think it turned out super cool. I like the colors, I like the shapes, and I like that everything matches perfectly. Uh, I hope that your symmetrical shape art goes awesome, and that you have a great time, and that, uh, that you learned something today about symmetry, about art history, and about complementary colors. It's all good stuff. All right, so uh, enjoy making your art, and I'll see you guys next time in the art room.